Good morning. Welcome to this 15 minute class. Uh, today it's a little bit of movement as well as some Hatha Yoga. I'd say it's a little bit all over the place in that we're on the mat and we're standing, uh, a bit like the weather. Such is life. So when you're ready, come to the front of the mat. And stand with feet hip width apart and just bring our hands to heart. Take a moment, arrive on the mat, ready to practice today. Let go of all the chitter chatter in the mind and connect to the breath. Now first thing we'll do is a little bit of a twist, standing twist. So now bring your feet hip width apart and start to move from side to side. Feel all of the tension going out of the body. Notice where there is tightness and as you notice that area, breathe it out. Finding that flow. Drop the eye gaze, not focusing on anything in particular. If you feel dizzy, slow and stop. Otherwise, just at your own rate of speed. Now slowing it down. And coming into stillness. Standing tall, turn the palms so they face forward, shoulders back, engage the core. Nice deep breaths. Feeling the energy moving throughout the whole body. And shake it out. Let's come for an overhead stretch, a little baby back bend. So inhale, reach the arms overhead, looking up to the thumbs if it's comfortable on the neck, pushing the hips forward, pulling the belly in. Breathing. And as you exhale, bring the hands back to the heart. Take a moment, and then we'll do a second one. Dropping the hands, inhale, reach up and over. Cross the thumbs, palms facing forward. Pull the kneecaps up. Tuck the tail under. Protect the lower back. Feel it opening through the front of the body. And then hands to heart. So let's counteract that back bend with a little forward fold. Hands to hips, either bending the knees or legs straight, and bring your hands to your elbows. Pull the belly in, allow the elbows to come closer to the floor, stretching out through the lower back, using the weight of the upper body to stretch the lower back. Breathing, eyes towards the knees, and then plant the hands and let's step back into down dog. So, feet hip width apart, walking it out, push one heel after the other, see if you can stretch it through the back of the legs. Make sure the palms of the hands are flat and then push both heels to the floor. Eyes towards the knees, stretching under the shoulders as well. deep breaths. Now from here we're going to drop down onto your knees, flatten out the feet and come into a cat cow stretch. So inhale as you look forward, drop the belly and then exhale, tuck chin to chest, stretch out through the back. Feel the movement all the way down the spine, getting some movement getting some lengthening, unsticking all those places that are st feel stuck. Your own rate of breath, your own rate of movement. And then when you're ready, tuck the toes, let's come into a second down dog, but this time we're gonna twist. So maybe bring the hands a little closer together and the feet a little closer together, so you've got a bit more stability.
and let's reach with the left hand to the right ankle or shin looking under the armpit using the stretch from the hand to the ankle to twist you deeper don't forget to breathe and swap to the other side so now right hand reaches for the left ankle five breaths here Now drop back down. Let's come into extended child's pose this time. So toes together, knees wide. Stretch the hands forward. Drop the hips back. So butt to heels. Stretching forehead to floor. Use the close the eyes. Breathe. Pushing the hips back. Stretching the hands forward. Gentle opening for the hips. Calming the mind with the forehead to the floor. And come on up, take your time. We're going to come back up into Down Dog, and this time we're going to go into Wild Thing. If it's comfortable, otherwise stay in Down Dog. Bring the feet together. Raise the right leg up, bend the knee, flex the foot, and then twist. Look under the armpit, under the right armpit, as you push your left, your right heel towards the left stacking one hip over the other keeping the left leg straight now swap to the other side left leg up behind bend and flex stack the hips keeping the arms straight keeping strong and straight through the arms last breath here Let's drop back down into extended child's pose. This time we're going to do a side stretch. So walk your hands over to the right, pushing the hips back. Feel the stretch from the left hip to the left wrist, all the way down the left side as you contract down the right side. Always stretching on the left side and contracting on the right side first. Forehead to floor. Walk your hands now to the other side. Now the stretch is down through the right side, working with the digestive flow. And walking your hands back to the center. Come on up into tabletop. So the point through the toes. Hands a little bit closer together as we come into tiger pose. So right leg up behind, bend and flex, and then reach with the left hand to reach for the right ankle. Eye gaze directly down to the mat. Feel a stretch in the shoulder, front of the left shoulder, and in the right quad. Engage the core to keep you steady. And swap to the other side. Left leg up behind. Bend and flex, then stretch the right hand all the way around, grab the left ankle, get a good grip on it, and then use the foot against the hand to stretch through the shoulder. And come on out. Take a moment, and then we're going to scoot ourselves onto a seated position. And let's come into butterfly. So soles of the feet together. Bring them as close to the groin as you can. Wrap the hands around the toes. And use the elbows into the calf muscles just gently to open up through the hips. Lengthening through the back. And from here, come out to a wide-legged forward fold. Legs wide. See if you can reach the hands to the feet, if not, to the shins. Again, flat back, looking forward, not down. Now let's try a little challenge. Coming up, and well, let's come into boat pose with uh, hands on feet and stretch up. So start with a wide-legged boat pose. 
Engage the core, lift with the chin and the chest, keep straight and strong. Arms stay straight, stay straight as well. And then see if you can bring your legs together and bring them closer. Now you can bend the elbows a little as you bring the legs up. Keep breathing. And then come on down. Easy cross-legged, just to move, ease that off. Walk the hands forward. Bring forehead to the hands. Feel a stretch in the hip. So whichever leg you've got forward, this is the leg that will be stretched. The hip will be stretched. And when you're ready, let's come to try round two. Take a moment, get your balance, and then lift the legs up. together, playing around with it. Steady, steady eye gaze. Keep breathing. And then come on out. Now this time the other leg in front. Walk the hands forward forehead to hands or forehead to floor. From here let's just come into some releases. So let's start with a hip release. So sitting feet on the floor, hip mat width apart and then just rock side to side, maybe not using your hands, but if you need to use your hands for support, bring your hands to your knees. So knee goes to foot, opposite knee to opposite foot. Now another one, spinal one this time, so feet now together, still with a knee bent, and then rolling over onto the hip, forehead to floor, push up. So feel that all the way down through the spine. Engage the core as you sit up. So it's somewhere between a sit up and a push up. Let's go three to each side. Breathe in as you come up and breathe out as you go down. Great, well done. And now come on down. Let's hug your knees in. All the hard work's done. Just rock side to side, ease out all the tension that's gathered up. Make sure your head's still on the floor. And then grab the insoles of the feet. Happy baby. Knees are going towards the uh, uh, armpits. Maybe rocking side to side if it feels comfortable. And then lastly, spinal twist to finish it off. Right ankle on top of left knee, twisting legs over to the right as you look over to the left. Arms at shoulder height, deep twist down through the spine. And swap to the other side, left foot on top of right knee, dropping the legs over to the left, looking over the right shoulder, releasing any tension down through the spine. And come on back up. Let's just come on up to an easy seated position. Take a moment, always take a moment at the end to let all of the changes integrate. So eyes closed, shoulders back, shoulders over hips, hands either in the lap or on the knees for support. Reconnect with the breath in and out through the nose. Notice the clarity, notice the calmness Well done. Namaste. Thank you.